A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Then they abandoned their nets and followed him. He walked along a little farther, and he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat, mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat, along with the hired men, and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Today we had the opportunity, as we reflect on this Sunday's scriptures, to think about how we ourselves might respond to the call that God has given us. And each of us have some kind of a calling in this life, and it might take uh, a lifetime even to figure out what that calling is. Um, but we are called to be faithful to God's call and somehow uh, enter into that uh, calling with a sense of enthusiasm and determination to do the best that we can to serve God with our whole heart, mind, and soul, and our neighbor as ourselves. This is sometimes challenging. I don't know if uh, you're like me, but sometimes when I feel that uh, sense of what God wants me to do, I'm not particularly happy with it all the time. Sometimes I might even find myself resisting what I think God wants me to do. Eh, perhaps that's pretty normal. This is why in our lives of faith, as we discern God's will, it's probably a good idea uh, on a maybe even a daily basis to uh, pray about it, perhaps um, to consult with spiritual people in our lives who can share their wisdom with us, perhaps read into the scriptures and um, find examples of how other people who've come before us, especially those in the scriptures, have responded to God's call and what they did or, or didn't do, um, and maybe read the lives of the saints or just simply be observant of the people around us who are living good and holy lives. So there's all kinds of ways, I think, to discern our calling and, and how we're supposed to respond to what God wants us to do. I find it interesting today that our first reading from the book of the prophet Jonah reminds us that Jonah went to Nineveh and he was um, called by God to go there and to preach to the people, the people who were, uh, let's say, living in sin. They needed conversion, and Jonah was asked by God to go there and to preach the news of repentance. He didn't want to go. Well, we know the story. Jonah gets thrown off of a ship. He ends up in the belly of a whale. He's spit out onto the beach. Uh, he, he seems to uh, find ways of, or at least in, he's in situations where he's some, somehow maybe able to avoid what God wants him to do, but it doesn't work. Whatever happens, he ends up having to go to Nineveh and preach the word of God. And he's rather successful if we read the whole story. He says that the people uh, there needed to repent and believe in God and turn from their evil way. He didn't want to go. He didn't want to be the one to preach that message to those people. He reluctantly did it. This is contrasted, I think, in the, in the gospel today 
when we see Jesus walking along the shores of the Sea of Galilee and he calls Simon and Andrew, um, James and John to be his disciples. And the Gospel reminds us that they were fishermen. And they were, there they were, probably in the early morning, uh, finishing up after uh, a, 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 a late night, an early morning fishing expedition. And they were probably uh, tired, probably wanted to go home. And Jesus comes along and calls them by name. And he says to them, come and follow me, and I will make you fishers of men and women. I will, I will enable you to be great in God's eyes, in the service that you can give to building up the kingdom. The Gospel says here um, that they abandoned their nets and followed him. They ab just dropped everything and followed him. A little f that was uh, Simon and Andrew. And then a little further along, when he comes upon James and John, it says, then he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat. They left him there with the hired people. They followed Jesus. They just dropped everything. They had this tremendous enthusiasm to follow this man, who undoubtedly they had heard about, perhaps uh, even heard him preach. Maybe they knew of his uh, wonder, wondrous miracles and the way that he was proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Maybe they were excited by that. Maybe they didn't expect that, though, that they, who were just humble fishermen, maybe they didn't expect that they were worthy of the calling that Jesus had given to them. But they actually became some of his strongest followers and his apostles. They did great things in their lives as followers of the Lord Jesus. They came from humble backgrounds, and yet they did magnificent things in promoting the kingdom of God among other people. And so we have a question today I think that we can ask as we try to respond to the call of Jesus in our own lives. And the question is, do I want to enthusiastically follow what God wants me to do? Uh, unlike Jonah in the first reading, who was a little hesitant, even though he was ultimately successful, or do I want to throw myself into exactly whatever Jesus wants me to do, like these uh, apostles who were called in the gospel today? Which path do we take? How do we respond to the call? In the final analysis, what we're really called to do as people of faith who live in this complicated world is to witness to the presence of Jesus among us and the good news of the kingdom that he proclaimed. This is what the apostles did. This is what they uh, abandoned everything and dropped their nets and, and followed Jesus to do, to proclaim the good news of the kingdom. And we are called, in our own way, to do exactly the same thing. So today, as we reflect upon the call, you might say, of Jonah, the call of the apostles, the call of the Christians who've come before us in faith, especially the saints of our church, and even those holy people around us who model so well what it means to be a faithful follower of the Lord Jesus. Let's take a moment to reflect on the enthusiasm and the determination of our own response to Jesus' call in our lives. And let's remember that like Jonah, and like these apostles, that even though we might be weak, even though we might be hum humble, even though we might not think ourselves to be perfect, that God will provide us with all the strength we need to witness to his kingdom faithfully and to have success in doing so. As we gather today for this Mass, let us be grateful that the same Jesus who walked along those seas of the shore of the Sea of Galilee, that and called th those disciples, that he's present with us. Jesus is here in this place. And he calls us by name and challenges us to leave this place today, go back into the world to serve God and serve others in proclaiming the good news of the kingdom. Let's encourage one another with this message of our faith 
and let's respond enthusiastically to the call. Praised be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen.